So let's take it back 2019 <laughs> when Kawhi and PG were announced coming to Clippers. There was much hype and excitement around that move. Still remember seeing, seeing that news come down the pipeline late that night and the reaction. Uh, so Clippers leveraged their future to bring in PG from the Thunder back in 2019. So let's just take, Please look to recap, this. look at that Jesus. deal one more time. So Clippers got Paul George, Thunder got SGA, Danilo Gallinari. Show the billboards they had. 2021 unprotected first round pick that turned into Trey Mann. Uh, 2022 unprotected first round pick from the Clippers that turned into Jalen Williams with the 12th overall pick. So that 2023 first round swap with the Clippers was unused. 2020-24 unprotected first round pick that I think has been moved and wheeled and dealed. Uh, Miami's 2025 top 14 protected first round pick which turns into an unprotected pick in 2026. Rice to the 2025 first round swap with the Clippers probably will not use that now. And the Clippers 2026 unprotected first round pick. No, they still picking. <laughs> still, still eating off that PG trade. Five years later. That's so, a whale carcass. Mm. So we <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, that's like uh, that's like uh, Shannon Sharp and uh, uh, Cat Williams. I'm still eating over here. Yeah, <laughs> got about 95 clips for you. I got another clip y'all ain't even seen yet. Ta -da. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the, un, uncut version. <laughs> <laughs> Will the All he said extra was motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Will the Clippers PG trade go down as one of the worst in NBA history? With hindsight now being 20. Wait, say it again? Will yeah. the Clippers PG trade go down as one of the worst in NBA history? Yes. Yeah, I mean, but well, that's karma for the Clippers, though. Yeah. You think so? The stench of, the the stench yeah, of Donald Sterling. Really? Nah, that, that trade, the goddamn. Um, who, what team? Nah, remember Rudy Goldberg? Oh, that one. Remember, they, they sent 52 niggas over at, uh, at Utah, and I don't, I don't, we don't know not nail one pick they got for it. The Rudy shit. The, uh, <laughs> Sacre Blue. <laughs> no, but you can... Like, a Utah, what has Utah gotten? <laughs> like, no. Who have they... <laughs> Market. Yeah. That's what I said, because they got... How many picks did they get? I think it was about, like, five first-rounders or yeah, whatever. we just thinking, but, but the players so far, you got Shea. Oh, I mean... Jalen yeah. Williams came out of this. He's going to be he nice. Yeah, they... Top two scores on the number one team in the Western Conference. Yeah. Came out of result of this PG trade. And the thing is, we well, talked about... Well, well, tech, well, well, you can't say it exactly like that because even if the Clippers had it, who said they were smart enough to go after Jaden Williams? Okay? True. <laughs> I'm saying for the Thunder now, turning that pick. Yeah, that's, so, but that's, that go, they're turning it into yeah. something. They're, they're scouting. So their flipping, scouting has been great over there anyway. So flipping PG and now, now Thunder get SGA... And Jay Lewis, and we talked about this. We all would have made that trade. I don't think anybody could have predicted. You knew SGA was going to be a star, but he would be at this level this early? at that point. Not first time all, not first team all NBA. No. Nah, no. Two, two times, in, no. No. <laughs> even if, what's so funny, even if he wasn't a two time all NBA, let's say he was Maxi with Jalen Williams. That's still a hell of a deal for them. Still a hell of a deal. Still a hell of a deal. Yeah. Right? I mean, he, he became a superstar mm -hmm. even if he was just. A 20, 22, 25 guy. That's still a hell of a deal. Yeah. That OKC guy. Yeah. He's averaging 30. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! But I mean, but I, I guess at the and end they of the day. Do it again next year? At the end of the day, they wanted to be great right win. now, Clippers. Motherfucker went in there and told the Clippers with his fingers, stick him up. Yeah, stick him up. Yep. You want him? Okay. Look, when, when that trade went you. down... We, we, we got you. You're home now. <laughs> when that trade went down, the consensus was that the Clippers had won that trade. Of course. I mean... Came from Clipper fans. <laughs> Ask them now. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> Marcellus Wiley, what you think now? Ooh. Yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. So, let's just take a look uh, at the comparable. So, Paul George, during his five years with the Clippers, averaged 23 points a game, six rebounds, five assists. Shea, during that same window, has averaged 26 points per game, five rebounds, five assists, and obviously going on now to be MVP level. A lot of people on this couch thought he should have been the MVP this season. But let's talk a little bit about the Kawhi and PG era now that we have time to reflect on it now that it's officially done. Clippers made the playoffs four out of five seasons, but only won three playoff series, famously blowing a 3-1 lead to the Nuggets in the second round of the playoffs in 2020 in the bubble, and they did reach the conference finals in 2021. Loss of the Suns. So the Clippers were 124 and 57 when Kawhi and, and 57 50, when Kawhi and PG played together in the regular season, but only 13 and 13 in the playoffs when they played together. A total of 26 games. 
How will the Kawhi and PG Clippers era be remembered? Or will it be remembered? And it be remembered as one of the best eras in Clippers history. That's fair. It's a fair assessment. It's Clippers history, remember. <laughs> it's as, Clippers history. As well as a failure. <laughs> That's not better than a C... No. Better Bob than City? CP and M? Era? They lost 3-1-2. They made the conference finals over this time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's Clippers. I mean, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the Clippers. The stench of Sterling. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like they really got a great history of success. <laughs> The, the, you know they might they, shit. They might they might throw them a parade for for 127 and 54. 127 and 54 Woo. in games that they played together. Woo. Over five. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, but and then and then the games that they played, they still was like kind of injured. It's not like they. I think the, them first couple of years it was just rough. You know you got. Him still coming off the thigh injury. You got Paul George with two shoulder injuries in the same summer. I mean, just the thought of that, right? Two in the same summer. What training did you do for the next season? None, right? So, I mean, you had to really take in consideration. You know, when he was coming back airballing and stuff like that, it's like, well, he probably didn't get not one shot up this summer, right? So, um, you know, so like now, you know, these guys are finally getting healthy. Well, he is. He's finally healthy. Kawhi, you know. He's I don't even think he can play in USA basketball. He's in Costa Rica right now doing his thug thizzle. Yes. There, there are currently bets being taken whether or not he will come back. Man. <laughs> he, <laughs> might just, man. he might just it's stay in Costa alert. Rica. I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. No, when he's done playing, we're never going to see Kawhi. Never. When he's done. Yeah, he's, he's done playing. He's, yeah, he's we're one of those we're those never going to see him. Yeah, he's one of those personalities. Yeah. He need to start a pod and just all silence for an hour and a half. Just him See, sitting there. If you there. didn't have his podcast, wouldn't nobody see. If you didn't have show, <laughs> if you didn't have shows, wouldn't nobody see you. That's a fact. <laughs> you That's did fact. not pull up the BET. That's, That's a weekend. fact. That's a fact, man. Huh? Nobody would never even know. If you, if we didn't see you on that screen, <laughs> uh-huh. they'd be asking where to get him. Ba- basketball games. That's it. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's good yeah. basketball. Game. That's it. Yeah, see, see you go, uh, high school, a fixture in the high school yeah. basketball scene may or may not be getting escorted out of games in the near future. Gil, my, I'm, I still believe that you will stand firm, but you know high school refs <clears throat> are assholes. <laughs> but so, Brandon, you brought this up, but what, what, what do you think were better teams, the best of the CP3 era from 2012 to 2017 or the best of the Kawhi PG era from 2019 to 2024? As a reminder, Clippers made a Western Conference Finals during the Kawhi and PG era. I mean, well, the Blake and CP3 era was more entertaining, I guess I can say more. More of that, like they were, you know, yeah, they lost, but they were just more entertaining. They didn't have to deal with a lot of too many injuries, like with their best players. So that's why I'm putting their era before this one. Yeah. Um, it was an exciting time for, Clip, for Clipper yeah. fandom. I mean, you know, they had some deep battles with, with the Warriors and stuff like that. They were just, you know, they just lost. It's just the Clippers. Had the, the Donald Sterling situation, I think that squad. That's why I say it was more entertaining. Yeah. They had more. So I blame B. Stiviano for all of this. What's crazy is if you look at some of their, their yeah. groups, they've had some nice, exciting no. groups. They had, the, yeah. they had this group that came in uh-huh. that the, yeah. everybody wanted to be like, especially young kids. Then you had the CP Lob City. Mm-hmm. Then you had, had this one. So, you know, it's not like they've been not relevant for the last 20-something years, so. Yeah. They've been fun teams. They, 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 they yeah. had some fun teams. Yeah. No, ex- yeah. I mean, exciting I mean, like, squad. that era, even with C- they made a whole show off of it, so you know how crazy, like, that's what I'm saying, like, that Questionable era. casting, but a uh, show yeah. nonetheless. <laughs> have you watched it? I have not watched have. it yet. Yeah? Is it good? It's funny, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's funny? It's funny. So we, we asked the I chat. just figured, I mean, it's Clippers. Casting's bad, acting's probably. <laughs> I think I think deliberate though. I think deliberately, yeah, deliberate, like yeah, yeah you know, Did Lakers have just be Clipper style. Lakers had winning time. Obviously, <laughs> great casting. Everybody looked like they looked then. It's hard to do a show with guys who still look the exact same <laughs> mm-hmm. that they did when the whole Donald Sterling situation was going down. But shout out to Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, and that Lawrence was Fishburne. funny when Lawrence Fishburne, <laughs> hilarious. Did you hear what he said? He was like, I didn't even know who Doc River was. <laughs> Neither do us. <laughs> Like, you didn't hear, like, he said that. He's like, I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> like, damn. So we asked the chat, better era for the Clippers, Lob City or the Kawhi PG era? 85% rolling with Lob City. Very, very entertaining, very exciting time. So uh, last question on this particular subject, but recently Paul George has said that he would wanted to get his jersey retired by the Pacers and Clippers. 
felt he was deserving. Clippers currently have zero players with retired jerseys along with the Raptors. So I'm going to ask you guys this question. There's a blank percent chance the Clippers retire Paul George's jersey. What percent chance is there that the Clippers retire Paul George's jersey? Zero. <laughs> zero percent? Wait. What did he do with the Clippers? So he's a three-time All-Star. Three-time All-Star. All -Star. One-time All-NBA. Won three playoff series. No. I mean, I think if the Clippers are going to retire anybody's jersey, you got to go Blake Griffin first. Blake, Doc is, Doc is lobby for DeAndre Jordan as well in CP3, that Lob City crew. Five. Paul George in Indiana, that's not bad. PG was nice, PG-13. If any were there, but... Uh... It's so it, it's so hard because it's hard. To, they don't have nobody to compare it to. Remember, this is like this is like the last what since Blake, right? When they mm -hmm. finally got a new arena, mm -hmm. this is like this is when their legacy really started, right? So there's nobody before Blake that you can retire. Yeah. They didn't. No one. Didn't no one ever had a chance. Long, yeah, nobody. Yeah, no one ever had a chance years. to Shit. have a legacy there because it was just three and out. How long did Chris Wall? Chris Wall three years too. I think no, he wasn't drafted there, though. Like, oh, dra oh, drafted. Yeah, Chris Paul, like, Chris oh, like Paul came with, you know, he came after Blake and stuff. So, like, all the people, like, you know, Darius Miles and all those yeah, guys yeah. from the past, like, yeah. so there was no reason to retire anybody's jersey. So, you so know, they're... I'll give you this note. Clippers moved to L.A. in 1984 uh, before the PG Choir. era. I think they won a total of four playoff series. And then in the past five years, from 2019 to 2024, they've won. I'm just telling you, Gil. That's what I said. So that, but that's what I said about legacy, dog. Like, that, that's it. It was one that of those progress. things. I was part of one of them. Yeah, yeah. That's, See? that's one of those things when you get drafted, you get drafted, and you literally just be like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> my legacy is done. Like, as, as a, my, so, I, don't, I got no legacy. So, Ken, you said 0% chance Paul George gets his jersey retired by the Clippers. Do you guys give at least a percent chance to? I mean, it's bomber. I mean, I mean, probably, yeah. I mean, but I don't think it's first, though. Like, I don't think in the new arena, I think you put Blake's up first. Okay. But you just... See? But why, why? I mean, it's, not, it's nothing... You got Somebody with Jersey got to get retired up there. <laughs> like... One, two, three. But, uh, so... It's the owner, right? This owner... How, how long has this owner been there? What, since 2014, 15, 15? Almost 10 years now? Bomber? Damn, it's been Itching up on, yeah, it's been a minute. Damn. So his best players has been what? Paul George and Kawhi. He don't, like, technically, he don't... Chris Paul Blake? Chris Paul Blake? Well, he came in the end of them, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so his, leg his legacy is these two players. Oh. Right? So he don't have, like... His, his, the, the, those is the past. Yeah, but... So, Technically, this is my investment. I, if I want these two motherfuckers to go first, they're going to no. go first. Yeah. Right? yeah. These my boys. I know them. I don't really know you like that. Yeah, but, really I, but, but, but your resume, people voted. They said you should go in there. Well, you're going to go in <laughs> after my two guys. That could happen, dog. That's that could tough. happen. That's tough. And Blake, Blake didn't Blake. dap him up after they traded could, him. I mean, it could. Or, you know, he can be a, you know, a student of the sport and just say, all right, they came before you, you know, and then boom, boom, boom. Well, the Lakers, I mean, well, the Clippers need something good because they got a lot of bad karma and... and we got new they, yeah, they need to put some... Yeah, they do they need, need to put to, some people up there, man. Like, they, they, you're going into the new arena, right? They got a bunch of high school jerseys. Well, see, that's some bullshit. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Show some love to... What well, high school? California, like 1,100 high school Every Pretty much every high school in California sent the jersey in, so they have a wall saluting... All the high school might be kids. up there, baby. Hey. Wait, hold up. Wait, I hold might up. Be up in there, baby. Wait, hold no up. word if Wait, the grand up. high school number 25 is hanging. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? They put high school jersey. So just a high school jersey, every LA school. Yeah, basically yours is not going to be up. No, there. that's it's fine. Because you know you 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 that, ran that, over to Virginia, so basically. That's, that's fine. Right? That's fine. You know to be everybody else's legacy from you know what I mean you know. Well, Might be the holidays, you know. That's, that's <laughs> you know, Nick Young and then, you know. Okay, I mean, he, he was a clipper. Uh, it's, it's, there might be it. some people up there that you're going to be like, this you? some bullshit. You? I heard mine got sent over there. Okay. Send the 25 <laughs> grand high school okay. But, but, okay. But this is when, this, but this is when you, 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 start, you start this season off with retired guys' jerseys. Who? Blake Griffin is old enough. Like, he's been out of the league long enough to, like, you know, go Blake. Everybody else still playing. You go Blake. Yeah. Give Blake a day. You know, Blake give Blake man. a day. And so far, that's it. Right? <laughs> you know, that's it right now. Right? Everybody else still playing. Right? So you, you go and you retire Blake and let that be the, the home opener. Yeah. 
I'm with that. It could be, I mean, I'm with you know, I think the fans are, you love that with the new, you know. So let's not let's, the new, not day one of the new arena. Day one. Uh, into it dome. I mean, you, 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 you this season, in. yeah, not day one. It's a new arena. You got it. You got the winniest coach. You, you got a lot, of, a lot of other shit to, to do. Like, they go. There you go. That, that shit gonna be a show hey, down there, bro. I'm not gonna front. That's game game one. Hey, I'm not him? gonna front. You see, Yo, <laughs> not gonna front. I ain't gonna put on the show. I don't think that should be about. I, I think they should do it this year, like game 15. But damn. Yep. Him and Doc. When Doc come back. Yeah, whoa. But Doc, Doc whoa, winning the coach. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa winning his coach to the Clippers. Put Doc and Blake up there this year. Doc don't even have. You can't do that. Is any coaches that have been retired? Yeah, there's coaches that have retired. In the in the arena for wins. In the arena? For wins with certain teams? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Red Hour back is retired for the Celtics. Denver got, um... Your, it? your man's? Hell no. <laughs> Dan Issel, I think. <laughs> and that's what King mood up. Fucking whole mood good shit, bro. It's like I throw it out there, throw it out there. Oh, that's <laughs> be on guard with that shit. Your man? Hey, yeah, he had his hand over here. He, he grabbed it extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> 